<sighs> All right, guys, here's three new plays I'm going to be talking about. All right, we're going to go for the top one first. What we have is a double look out of trips left. Now, this play is ran two different ways. The first one, as you see, I have the zone read look. Quarterback gets the snap in the shotgun, fakes the zone read sweep to the running back, then the running back shoots out in the flat. The second look is a just a pure pass look where he's on the opposite side closest to the single receiver and all he's doing is shooting out in the flat. Now on the trip side you have a five yard in by X. He is the furthest outside receiver on the trips. The middle slot runs a whip route he angles inside on an inside release and after three steps he plants his foot and pivots to the outside this creates a natural pick with him and X since X is going on a five yard in X has a possibility of making contact with a linebacker or a secondary guy who is covering the middle slot so you create a natural pick with that number three does what is a sit. He finds a vacant spot and he sits at five yards. So he's looking to get inside of a vacated spot by linebackers on a rush or a drop. He finds that hole, he sits down. Now, the single receiver, which is Z, he runs a shake route. He runs inside of his defending man. And at 10 yards, he breaks to the corner and aims for a spot 25 yards down the field. That's where his end point is. He's pulling him downfield and pulling that corner with him to be able to give that quarterback the ability to hit the running back into the flat if he chooses. Now, second play <clears throat> is I slot. And this against 3-4 cover 2. Now what I have here is I have a in route by the tight end on the single receiver side. What he does is at 10 yards, he breaks in across the free safety's face. Now, he's look, against zone, he's looking to sit it down, and against man, he's just boogieing across the field. On the twin side, I have a switch concept. In this case, X is going to run a wheel route. Breaking it right off Z's butt as Z runs the switch. Which in this case is going to be a post. It's not a dramatic post that will carry him across the field. He runs his switch route on the strong safety's outside shoulder. He attacks his outside shoulder. Then at 10 yards, he breaks under, underneath him and hits his post route and after five long strides he starts to break it back into a streak attacking the middle of the field now fullback will motion to the inside hip of the left tackle he stops he blocks the tight ends man after the tight end releases if there is a linebacker blitzing he blocks that linebacker and then he breaks into his route which is like one to two yards downfield on a flat route. High back runs a swing route. He runs his swing all the way outside the field to two yards past where Z was originally lined up. You're stretching the field with him. Quarterback does a five-step drop. He's looking to hit the tight end the Z, the X, the fullback, and the I back in that continuous read. Number one is the Y, number two is Z, number three X, number four the fullback, and number five is the I back. Now third and final play is the old 90 streak ran out of a air raid system look which is Y flex out of pistol. X and H 
are going to run the outside release streaks. They're doing nothing more than Hall and Fanny. They're getting deep. Y runs a 12 yard in or 12 yard curl. Z runs an outside release streak. Half back, the full back, half back, or super back, whatever you have back there, he's going to run a shoot right into the flat on the side of the double streak because they have cleared that area out for him. Quarterback takes a three step drop and reads the slot, which in this case is why he's your number one read. He's where you want to go first. Number two is X. Number three is your slot to the twin streak side. Number four is Z and number five is going to be your flat drop. That's how you read that. So these are the diagrams and I hope you guys see something that you like. Anyway, keep coaching and have a great day. Thank you very much.